Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Pamela for more early access fun. Let's just pick up exactly where we left off. We need to get to the top of Arcadia Tower this time because uh, we're full health. We got some food, some water needs, but we got that covered. We got all these health hypos. We can get some wine. We have a weapon. We have this gadget, which I think actually helps us with the seekers. We have water. We need food. That's something we do need. Hmm. Uh, but let's move out. It is nighttime, which means that we have to be on the lookout for afflicted and pretty much anything else. The one option we have, the one possibility we have, maybe, is whether it is maybe it would make sense. Well, let's go downstairs. But maybe it would make sense for us to get off into Arcadia Tower, like on one of the floors, maybe. Right? Rather than go, like, all the way down, maybe just go through, because there are entrances and exits to Arcadia Tower, to the pro you know, from and to the promenade, without having to go through the, uh, through the lobby right there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we were here already. This is corked. We really don't know what's running around here, but uh, we'll find out eventually. Ah, I see one of them running around in that store. Let's avoid combat to the extent we can, eh? What? What? Already? Oh my god. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Shh. Take your money. Thank you. Oh my god. There are like two of them over there. Yeah, we're not going over there. <laughs> we're not going over there. Shush. Okay, we still have power in the sword. We still have power in the sword. It's yellow. Could be worse. Can't tell if that's a mannequin or not, but we'll see. That yeah, seems like a mannequin over there. And that is not a mannequin. That is that is one of them. Can't tell if that's a stairway down. Maybe it is. Okay. Let's see, where are we for everything? We're good. You know what? Just uh, just to be certain, let's use this to top off our energy. Good, we are full energy sword. What's her face is over there? Fine, let's go downstairs. Which means we'll probably run headfirst into somebody, but that's fine. We're on the second level. We actually never managed to get to the second level, I don't think. So this area is actually pretty new for us. So let's, you know... We're, we, there's no hurry for us. We don't need to get to the top of Arcadia right now. So let's... These are really cool chairs. These are cool chairs! I want a chair like that. It's kind of weird uh, to say that, but I really do. Uh, okay, and there's a bunch of, like... Potentially lootable boxes back there. Let's do that, plus a Pamela Echo. Also, you know what I really like about this? The way that it's arranged, uh, I understand it's a design, you know, for the store. The way it's arranged, also, if somebody comes at us, they gotta walk around a lot of stuff. Which means they're being funneled. Which, you know, if you're setting up, like, a, a base, this could be a nice place to set up a base, too. Even though it's right on the promenade, and they will literally come in from through there all the time. You know, you drop a couple of turrets, you make them... The overwhelming fear and pain is becoming too great. An indiscernible amount of the population has already died. Interesting. But shouldn't you... So the lore during the loading screen said that everybody is jacked into the AAR AARM, so the ARM system, uh, at birth. You know, the ARM system is this. You notice in the very bottom right, it says ARM OS version 2.53, whatever, whatever. 
So, in theory, shouldn't Pamela know? Like, shouldn't she be able to keep track? Oh, that's empty too. Dang. Man, well, again, we, 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 we concluded last time that... Hey, it's a Seeker up there. And he's definitely not fighting them. I was going to say he's fighting them, but he's not. Okay, let's check out this trash can, because we do need, like, a... Even a ham sandwich at this point would, would be welcome, you know? But, of course, we don't have one. Ooh, ooh. Do you have a ham sandwich? No, but you do have these legs. Okay. Let's find a cozy, cozy corner. Where we can sort of bottleneck ourselves. Ooh, a lime. That's food of some description. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Let's see if there's anything in the garrison safe. Yes, there is. One, two, three, four. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, why? Why? Why is all my gear going to disappear after this episode? Here, put this on. Put this on. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this like there. Da -da 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 -da. Let's eat this lime. Let's drink. Do we need to drink? Yeah, we do want to drink. Let's drink this cup of water. Good. Okay, moving on. Now we have our harpoon back. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So do we want to just take a trip around this floor, maybe, instead of just going straight to Arcadia? I think we do. Feeling kind of cavalier, I realize that, but... Why not, eh? Oh no, that's just... Just, I thought that was the lights on there. Why are you not fighting back, man? Up there! There was some people saying that uh, the latest... The latest patch may have changed the way Seekers respond to getting hit in the face by the Afflicted. Yeah, maybe that's true. Because we've seen them fight. We've seen, like, a serious rumble between them. And Seekers can take out one to one on one. They can take out, like, two or three Afflicted on their own. Which is awesome to me. Uh, <laughs> you know, anything that's going to help us take, uh, take the Afflicted down. What time is it? 22.41. Because... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, you wanted to take out that little robot friend of mine. Unfortunate for you. One. Two. Now, we're not going to upgrade this because obviously we're going to lose this weapon. See, somebody said we can do this from afar, and I kind of don't like it. Uh, I hope it's a bug. I hope it gets fixed. You know? Because I... You gotta be on top of them in order to... I wanted to loot that. Alright, whatever. You, you should really be on top of them in order to... Um, loot them. It just makes more... Like, realistic, logical sense in a world... In, in a futuristic, utopian world where your storage is compressed space. That's right. 73%. Don't worry, we'll be gone before that fully fully becomes a problem. You, on the other hand. One. Yeah, that's right. No. Two. There we go. <laughs> okay. We don't have a shield. That's the one thing we do not have. And two Arcadia, so we are actually right here. Awesome. No? No. Just this thing gurgling. Shush! Yeah, we, we determined, or at least I determined last time, that the worst part of this is that they're... Oh my god, there's like a million of you in there. Ooh. Ooh. Money? Hmm. Hmm. Right. 
fine eatery. Oh, no, this is just the second floor of where we already saw it. Never mind. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So we have seen this place. No, never mind. We've been on here. When we went upstairs in the restaurant, the quote-unquote fine eatery we just saw. Okay. Screw that, then. Let's go to Arcadia. <laughs> let's go to Arcadia. Let's go to the, um, let's go to the lobby. Hopefully there's going to be a seeker down there, like it was uh, when we were there the initially. Um... Yeah? Yeah? Man, there's a lot of them over there. Oh, there's one over here too. Great. I think he sees me. I think he wants to be my friend. You know. Hey buddy. Don't just don't just don't just sidestep. Don't do that. That's a recipe for disaster for you, man. Okay, well. Don't say I didn't warn you. Bram. Bwam. Can I get the bwam, please? Okay, 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 okay. Shh. Good, 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 good. Genesis. Did we ever see Genesis? No, we didn't go into Genesis. Let's check out Genesis. Cool. You only better. Your journey begins here. Interesting. I like... I. You know what? You know what the aesthetic of this kind of reminds me of? A little bit. A little bit. Uh, obviously in different context, in different contexts and certainly different genre, but... Um, uh, Mirror's Edge. Just a little. Because it has that, like, you know, monochrome black and white color plus... Monochrome black and white color plus, like, a bright color. Which is pretty cool. What is this? What, what do they vend? Oh. Augments. <gasps> 400? Wait, hold on. What is this? Upgrade cell. No. But this, this I'd buy. Medial reflector. Attaches to the standard flashlight frame and offers a balance between far-reaching and wide illumination. I'll take that, thank you. I mean, why else are we saving money if not for that? Okay. Ooh, bigger, better flashlight. I'm all about that. Okay, um, if we're gonna do this, let's go ahead and equip that, thank you. Whoa. Whoa, what? Okay, I want to know what that is. That is not a cryopod. That's, that can't be a medical pod. Is this the augment pod? It is. It is, it is, it is. Let's close the door. Let's close the door. <laughs> okay. What kind of augments do we want? Oh, they're all 5,000. But, cool. Okay, so good to know. We can get, like, augmented here. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um... Oh, they're still making noise outside. We're fine with that. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a storage crate. Or it's a storage a closet, basically. With more potential medical supplies for us, maybe? Maybe? No, but these but these are hackable. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I it makes it look futuristic in the sense of it makes it look very clean. It makes it look very like sleek, right? Because everything is bright colors contrasted by either a white color or a dark, like grayscale color. Not necessarily black. And it's that kind of design aesthetic, which I think is very nice, personally. But also, it's just, it, in the design language for games and movies, it's like future, right? It just, it, it feels that way. 
I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just, and it, and to some extent, it's also very uh, a very current language of like future design, right? Before it was a lot of colors um, and very intricate design, or very grayscale sort of like militarist utilitarian design. Nowadays, this still all five thousand. It's still all five thousand. This thing is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela? Connections were created to all residents on Eden. Strange information I cannot parse routinely enters my system. Interesting. Maybe that's, um... Is it that she can't, like... Well, let's assume for a second that it's not nefarious, right? Let's assume for a second that the information that she gets is, like, emotions or something. That's possible. That would be interesting. And that would also, if she asks about that, could potentially set Jacob off, right? Because, what the hell? But then again, she also talks about fear, so she should understand emotion. Um, God, there's a lot of buildables around here. Really makes me wish I could start a base, but it's all right, I can hold off for now. <laughs> yeah, nothing here, but we did scan this other trash can. Firehouse whiskey. A refined drink that leaves a burning sensation and warms the body, commonly consumed during times of colder weather. Oh, baby, it's cold outside. Look at these offices. Like, you can go in here and, like, plan out how to basically augment your body. That's cool. So it's also interesting that there's another... There's, like... We've now seen, what? Three, four different upgrade mechanisms? I complete the request for REM. I feel guilty for having to hide the command. Jacob assumes it's a mechanical malfunction. For Rem. Rem is a new... Rem's a new player, right? We know 12. He's the seeker. We know Jacob, who's the creator, essentially. We've heard... Yeah, I beg your pardon. Okay, let's just go upstairs real quick and see what's up here. I'm assuming it's going to be one of them. Because why else would it start, like, combat music for me? It's just a wall. Sometimes a wall is just a wall. Yeah, it's right. He's right there. Duh. This is why... This is why the game music is glitchy just a little bit. I'm not fighting you. I'm going to Arcadia right after this. Sorry. Kale. Kale is good. I mean, not really, but uh, it's good for our purposes because we need food. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, and people were living here. Like, we 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 keep seeing these um, these sleeping bags around. So people are, well, sleeping here. But what's interesting to me, or what would be interesting to me is whether we could put down sleeping bags not just like porta beds but it would be nice to have more stuff more and different like types of beds right like a, a fixed bed or a, or a bedroll that we could basically just pick up and, and put down just kind of like that um okay so we need food we need water uh food we're kind of not great on but there should be vending machines in the lobby over there let's drink this fizzy pop um, and let's go ahead and switch this back out. How are we for energy? We can do, we can do with a top up. Okay, good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go. And also, at the same time, we'll go, we'll be able to test out our, uh, expanded or upgraded flashlight, basically. Cool. What's the time? Just out of curiosity. It's three o'clock in the morning. Let's see if we can make it to morning. Uh, in this episode. Maybe not. It's possible. Alright, the hell with you guys. Let's just go over here. Where's Arcadia? There is the other thing that we didn't check out is this origin station, but I... I... Let's do that later. Let's do that, like, next... the ne as the next trip. Because I think there's also something called Osiris Station, if I remember correctly. And that's probably gonna... I mean, I'm assuming Osiris and Origin are both linked. So we could probably just go outside 
and hook back in here, and that would be an interesting, an interesting way of not having. To... What the hell are you? I'm seeing split arms over there. He can totally rumble me. I know that for almost a fact. Do we want to get rumbled? Huh. Where are we? 19 bolts. Okay, let's rumble. Boom! Two. Three. Wow, he is... We move a little faster than the regular guys, buddy. Four. Five. Six. Oh my god, how much how much damage does he take? <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, you're terrible. Oh, you're awesome. I love your design. I love your design, the split arms and stuff. Okay. You got a lot of money on you. You had like 240, no, really 220 lux. Oh, and he takes out other, and he takes out other. Okay. Listen, if I didn't kill you, you're not allowed to make noise. You understand? It's freaking me out. More so than anything else that's happened thus far. Including that guy. That guy is awesome. Um, I think they're called Reapers? Uh, I can't remember. One of you guys named them in the comments. And, yeah. Like, awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you see, they take a... Sh uh, I, <laughs> almost cursed. Uh, they take a lot of damage. Hello. Hello, my friendly robot friend. Close that. We're here. Cool. Uh, they take a lot of damage, so if they come up on you, that's tough. That's, like, very, very tough to fight off. Okay, we're here. Oh, there's a guy coming at... There are two guys coming at the little robot friend. Okay, we've, we've uh, reloaded. This is a little strange. I'm not sure... I'm... I'm... Huh. I thought we would be on the front, on, on like, the, the ground floor, but I guess not. Oh, and they are fighting each other. Yeah, the, the, the patch didn't do anything. He just, you know, they're rumbling. I'm cool with that. Let's see. We may have to take out these two guys now, and then we'll go and take the elevator up. And I think we're pretty much running out of time after that for this episode. And next time we'll have to go up to floor seven. Boom. One. Two. Okay. One down. Hey, buddy. One. Jeez. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Yeah, I thought so. Are you lootable? Jeez. How many of you are there? Ah. <sighs> You know, I don't have time. Oh my god. Oh my god. My aim. There's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, where is the elevator entrance? Hold on. It's all well and good. Where's the elevator entrance? It's over on this side, isn't it? have to risk it, because if she has a ham sandwich, that's kind of important to me. Totally not a ham sandwich. Totally not a ham sandwich. Okay. Alright, let's put Arcadia up on full. We're at 61% power. I'm good with that. And let's go up to floor 7, and at least that's where we'll call it. We will call it when we get to floor 7. What's up here? Just out of curiosity? Uh... Back atrium residential unit 01 through 04. What really sucks is that if we call it there, we're going to lose all our stuff. But you know what? It's fine. That's the... <laughs> it's the sort of nature of the beast. 
Let's just take a quick gander around here. Oh, it's sunrise! We made it, you guys! It's sunrise! Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Okay. I think I heard a seeker. Okay, well, we're not going to loot anything up here because obviously we're going to call it uh, in about a second. I just want to maybe walk over here and see the sun actually come up. And we'll call it there. Right? Is there anybody who's going to ruin the, the ramp? Nope. Not at all. And what does this say? Arcadia, where the world comes back to rest. Oh, and there is a dude over there. But he's going to be fighting... He's going to be busy with that observer, I think. Or maybe not. Let's keep an eye on you for a second. Oh, oh. All right, they're fighting each other. Fine. Uh, as the sun comes up, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. let me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on the game, if you have advice or ideas, or maybe you think I'm overlooking something, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. Your advice and your thoughts have been more than welcome thus far. So keep it up. And in any case, I'll see you all next time.